So here is a Chevy Bolt with a B. I think this is the first one Don and I have seen in person. They were giving some test drives today. Good to see one in North Carolina. Sweet. Here's the bolt from the back side. It's nice looking. They're gonna take this bolt for a test drive. Way cool, how exciting. Bye. Bye. Five people getting in. I'm impressed. It's on, but total silence. Gotta love it. Still. Bye, have fun. How exciting. Way cool. Mode. Okay. Like the Tesla does when you, when you put it in low. Okay. Um, but in nor this is normal driving here. The regen would be here. You don't you, you engage this pad. Okay. Your regen would light up, and then the car would stop. stop. And then the foot pedal, the car will stop, mm -hmm. but you're not regenerating anything. Okay. Well, it's pretty nice. I like it. He was just he was just driving and he hit and he was using the foot pedal. I was like, I'm not used to using the brake. Because he's always doing regen. Oh we push the button. Uh, this is this is shifters like in all the Cadillacs. Over here is the button and uh -huh. over. Thank you. Reverse. Careful here. And then you got your camera, see that there? Oh, wow. 360 view. I like the uh, screen in the yeah. Tesla, man. This thing is like this. Yeah. Jumbotron. It's a Jumbotron. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. It is peppy. I see what you meant by that. Yeah. Right. Where you've been taking people? Just up here? Different places. Usually we go out to the right here and shoot down Davis Drive. One guy got on 40. We can do that if you want. Well, we got 172 miles of left of range, I think. We got, we can go, we can go <laughs> yes. Oh, I see what you mean. That is just like a regular old, uh, a standard car with the, the, the foot brake. Yeah. There's a little bit of difference in the feel, yeah. um, but. People that have just normal cars. Yeah, you know, we call them normal cars. Yeah. <laughs> they like the. This is weird. Yeah, because see, it's, it's literally coasting now, so we just, I mean, like. like so, a, how is the regen engaged in this right. car? Thank you. You pull the. the pull there. Yeah, yeah, pull right there hard. Yeah, I had it all the way in. I guess it is. So, you brake with your hand to use the regen, basically? Uh, yes. But you can do low now. Now we'll be in kind of one pedal mode. Yeah. Be close, or similar to what the Tesla does. Yeah, so when you, you accelerate and when you take off, it, slows down. Was it zero to 60? It's like six, six seconds. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Plenty fast. Yeah, Are you recording back there? I am. Yeah. For your own enjoyment. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, if Don's going to get to, you know, test drive a bolt, we got to, you know. <laughs> so it's 6.5 seconds, zero to 60. Okay. You have 266 pound feet of torque.
I'm comfortable in the back seat. Oh, I like the, the reach in on the brake pedal. It's very similar to the Tesla. I mean, that, you know, that's very good. That's all brake pedal. Me doing just a oh, of course, I was trying to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we are. This is Dave's drive. It'll end up being a carrier. Yeah, like High House or something like that. Yeah. That's full regen. My foot's completely off the accelerator. Yep. You like that? Yeah. It's got the, a little bit of that hum. Yeah, I have the little bit of the. Very, it's uh, the Tesla. In some circumstances, we I can hear it, but most of the time I can't. Up to this, there's a stop sign up here. Just go up to the stop sign and we'll take a left. Then you got your XM radio. You break your dead. Yeah. Does it throw the navigation up on the screen? You know, as a Tesla driver, I have to ask. No. No. My home screen is here. This is this is your home page here. Well, I tell you one thing if I like. You want just energy, you can go there and it'll show you your energy settings. Tap again and it'll show you different energy okay. information. One thing I do like about you have heated seats in the back. Ah, okay. One thing I like about the region on this one, it'll actually go all stop the car completely. The Tesla, once you get down about three miles an hour. It creeps. You, you have to pretty much use the brake yeah. to stop the yeah. yeah. It's a little rattle behind me, but I think it's because that cable it's, is loose in the back. It's the uh, license plate. The license plate, okay. I've got it screwed in, uh -huh. but not at the bottom. So uh, uh, a little, a little there, tap, tap every yeah. once in a while, okay. Makes sense. So what's the warranty on the battery on this? Eight years, 100,000. But I figure I don't know what that's. There's a recommended checkup at sixty thousand. Um, I figure most people don't have to go Or if they wanted to, there'd be more technology coming out. Yeah, well, that's the that's the tricky thing. Um, now, is, um, and that was a consideration when we got the the Tesla was um, how much will technology change? Because you know I'm used to driving a car to the wheels fall off. Yeah. You know, I have a 2004 GMC. She's got a 2006 minivan. So, and before that, I had a 1984 camera. And then, you know, drove wow. it. So, I pretty much drive it to my consent. But yeah, and how long have you had your Tesla? Uh, I got it in June. June. Yeah. So, is there cruise control? Uh, yes. But um, no, no other self-driving stuff. Just uh, there's, there's adaptive cruise control, which will monitor your follow distance, which is what that's doing right there. Okay. That green. Oh, I see the car. Clear. Sure. Then it'll turn red. If, like if someone were to pull out, right. or you get too close, and then it'll automatically adjust your follow distance based on your mileage. That's a quiet little. I mean, it's it's. You know, it, it is quiet back here. This, I can hear you guys the, good. The size of the car, the interior is bigger than, you know, the exterior would, you yeah. know, it feels bigger. So you got lots of headroom. Yeah, and I'm telling for you, a tall guy. I'm, as tall, I'm as high up in this thing as I am in my Tesla and the X. I mean, this is not, you know, I, which I like. I don't like really low cars. That was one criticism of the Volt, was the seat height. Um, well, I like it in this L mode. I could definitely, would definitely be, you know, I'm kind L of- L mode? To, yeah, that's the regen mode where right. you, okay. you do the one pedal driving in the L mode. Oh, okay. One pedal. And then, All these things, we're talking about a car, we're talking about kilowatts. <laughs> Yeah. L mode. Yeah. Regen. It's a whole new education, a whole new language now. You mean the 
mean this thing really only has 81 miles on it? That's correct. Wow. Don't you feel lucky? Most of them are probably from today. Um, man, in fact, I can tell you what we've done today. 49 miles we've traveled today. Then we've used 14 kilowatts, which is right. like what? Nothing. 20, a dollar 40 maybe? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Started it this morning. The max was at two forty-eight, I think. Now was that charged to a hundred percent? That was charged to hundred percent. Okay, There's so two hundred and forty-eight miles for a hundred percent charge. They always give you a minimum range. Sometimes we've there we've gotten up to two sixty-eight on max. Sure. Minimum is usually slow, hard. careful driving. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm liking it. I like this little. This is a good little car. Well, if you can, Donnie, back it in next to Ruby and I'll get a picture. Oh, okay. Well, we can do that. I'll try. Trained on the um, shifter. Yeah, better to give you a three, you know, you're... Yeah, you're doing too good. That's all right. You got your side. It has to be perfect. Yeah. All four sides, it'll show you. Oh, hey, I missed that. Did you see... Well, we're going to have to, we're gonna have to go forward and do that. <laughs> no, I didn't see that. The, the camera may have the caught four, it. The four, four, uh, um... 360 view. Oh yeah. That's yeah. pretty slick. Now when you back up here, see, this will guide you. When right. you get to this red area, that means you're within eight feet of an object. So when we get within eight feet of this, right, it's going to turn red and like beep at you. There you go. See that? Right at yeah. eight feet. Then you can go back a little further. Okay. Huh. Wow. Way cool. Was, when you hit park in any gear. Well, that's it. It just goes in the top. But then when you go to a high speed fast charger and you just you just go it down and it goes in plugs in the top in here it's got an extra little thing that goes in there right. and that's where the dc charging is and that can charge the whole car the whole car that's right and a half. Yep. As EV enthusiast and a Tesla owner, Don and I were thrilled to get to see a Chevy Bolt in person for the first time. Don's used to tooling around in his Scion XB, which has lots of headroom. He was impressed when he got into the Bolt and found that it also had a lot of headroom. The seats were very comfortable too. I was impressed with both the front and the back roominess. Don is really interested in one foot driving or even no foot driving and he enjoyed using the regen paddle on the bolt to bring the car to a complete stop. With the Tesla we find that it creeps at very low speeds under three mile per hour. It's also small enough to scoot around town. Being a tinier car it's obviously got maneuverability in and out of tight spaces. Don found the Bolt to be plenty peppy. It had some get up and go. Not as much as Ruby, but a lot. The 360 view backup camera is pretty impressive. Um, it's a wider field of view and backing up not quite so tunneled. The shifter in between the two front seats, it takes up a lot of room. It's, uh, it's nice, but uh, for a woman with a purse, I think uh, it would uh, be a little bit in the way possibly. Uh, I asked about navigation, and there is no navigation currently on the Bolt touchscreen. And the rear view mirror, you can switch back and forth between the regular mirror or an LCD view of the rear view camera, which is also an interesting feature. Don and I would like to thank Paul Enslin of Hendrick of South Point in Durham, North Carolina, for being at yesterday's National Drive Electric Week event in RTP and providing test drives of the Chevy Bolt. It was exciting to get to see one in person and give it a go.